Hi, my name is Alok and I represent Tetrahedron Manufacturing Services Private Limited. In today's uh, five minute short module, I'll be sharing the list of topics that we are going to cover in our upcoming full place live webinar on manpower cost reduction by cycle time optimization. So before going to the list of different topics that you are going to cover, let me share the three researches that were being done and the outcome of the different research why manpower cost reduction through cycle time optimization is one of the major focus area of different uh, top managers of manufacturing company. So the first research, uh, basically as you can see in the slide, these are the summary of interviews and feedback of more than 30 different CXOs of manufacturing companies. The topic that were discussed were uh, present roadblocks for manufacturing industry and the human skill section. So if you can see, uh, there are two specific areas uh, on the loss section, which is one is the human error unintentional and human speed loss. Human error unintentional contributes to almost 23% of overall losses because of skill section and human speed loss, which contributes to almost 15% of the total loss section and the human skill, skill section. So in total, approximately 35 to 40% of losses coming from um, human activity or human skill related activities. So this is one of the major concern of the PXOs uh, who have participated in that uh, research. The second is basically research two, uh, which is uh, anticipated shortage of workforce availability after this uh, Google, global pandemic. So it was expected that uh, it is expected that almost uh, there will be reduction in 40 to 60 percent availability because many of the people who were working as worker and operator in your shop floor have uh, gone back to their hometown and the chances of coming back to uh, work is quite clear and at least it will continue for another three to four months this is the second research which was uh, done in the last month the third research is of uh, the outcome of the third research is uh, going to be a major concern or the pain point for all the top managers, like the anticipated decline and variation in customer demand and uncertainty. So as you can see, uh, before this global pandemic, there were almost a 30% variation in customer order on monthly basis, weekly basis, or even daily basis. And uh, after the pandemic, uh, the variation is expected to increase to a level of almost 50 percent that may be weekly basis or again maybe daily basis or monthly basis beside that there will be also a drop of almost 40 to 60 percent overall average requirement of the customer so there are two things uh, which are the outcome of the research three which is uh, increase in the variation as well as uh, reduction in the quantity uh, these are the uh, these are the three main concerns that i have shared with you uh, that that forces us to think that why manpower cost reduction is paramount to be taken care of. So uh, in the productivity improvement techniques, or you can call it as PIT, PIT1, that is basically operation analysis table which will be used to uh, identify the non-valuating activities of different operators like movement, transport, inspection, and ideal, and different initiatives that you can uh, take to reduce the non-valuating activities and improve the work content of this operator. This model is also called the Shingo model. The second pit is two, which is basically improving the uh, you know, productivity and efficiency through improvement of cycle time by zero cost automation. In this section, you can easily find out that by following the uh, structured approach of level zero and level one kind of um, activity, which can be converted or which can be optimized by zero cost automation can also you can even achieve up to 50 percent reduction in cost or 50 percent improvement in the cycle time the third peak that is uh, hand speed gain so because many of the operators will be quite new in the shop floor so what kind of training or what kind of skill and the skill will help them to improve the hand skill and speed by almost by almost 200 percent in two to three days we'll also see some of the hand stability training these are required for all kind of operators and how you can select multi-process training at one time so that instead of uh, investing on multi multiple process multiple times you can give them give them the training one time for multiple process and one important uh, training skill of close day simulation which will help them to 
understand the intricacies of different processes and they can definitely improve the hand speed. Coming to the next, which is basically PIT4, which is the work allocation strategy as a management in which we'll be seeing that how to identify who is best suit for which station and which activity, then doing the activity grouping as per the skill availability, and how to reduce the losses due to the shift change of work. The PIT5 uh, will cover the shift planning technique, and in this we'll be discussing three major strategies, that is how a rabbit pitch formation or how a tiger zone formation can be taken care of when you have less number of people, and more quantity to be produced, or we have more quantity, less quantity to be produced with more manpower, as well as the skill parameters are not, uh, as well as the skill parameters are considered in these two techniques. We'll also discuss about a combined strategy, which is a hybrid work allocation strategy in PIT5. So these are the things that I'll be uh, covering under manpower cost reduction by cycle time optimization, and I. Uh, the, I, I think you have already received the link for uh, joining that workshop or if you haven't received the link then please do register in the link given under the video and uh, thank you so much for watch, watching this video and I look forward to host you. Thank you so much.